Rod Barajas at the plate, flies to left. Gabe Kaplan on his giddy up, nice running grab, and then throws to first to double up Carlos Baerga. 7 3 double play. Kaplan also in three for five hitting. He's hitting a robust 600 early this season. Top six, Luis Gonzalez at the plate and raking. Singles to center. Craig Council coming around third. Preston Wilson fires it home, and Council is toast at the plate. Same inning, two batters later. Mark Grace at the plate. Gracie's like 59 years old now. We kid because we care, Gracie. Flies to right. Danny Batista tags up, changes his mind, walking to the plate. It's a rundown, and Danny, there's an old adage that goes something like, he who hesitates gets played like a ukulele. Tiny Tim said that. Like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Tiny Tim. Yeah. Yeah. Rockets get out hit 10-9. to nine. They win anyway, 8-3. to three. But the Padres trying to sweep away the Dodgers in San Diego. Bottom seven. Pods trail 3 2, but they got the bases. Chuck, Paul Shuey facing Rondell White. There you see all the guys on the bases. And Shuey strikes out White. Oh, but I think it's drama. Two out. Next batter, Ryan Klesko. Now the count is full, and no. Klesko walks. Brian Buchanan scores. Shuey loses that one. Tied at three. We're going to extra innings, way into extra innings. Top 13, still 3-3. Three, three. Mike Kincaid with the shot. Sean Burrows. Nice pick, but can't get it out of the glove. Got to finish the play. So later in the inning, bases loaded. One out, Brian Jordan. Grounds to Burrows. Again, makes the scoop. And he double clutch. Can't make the throw. Home can Cape score 4 3. LA, that's how it wins. LA salvages a win. Angels and A's bottom four. A's down 4 3. Two on, no outs for Mark Ellis. John Lackey deals. Ellis deals harder. The other way, Ellis, a career high, four hits. Ramon Hernandez scores. Tim Salmon comes up throwing in right. Chris Singleton again. He who has states gets played like the ukulele. Lately. The famous Tiny Tim pole. Tied at four. One more look. Salmon, nice holes. Benji Molina blocks the plate perfectly. Bottom seven. A's down 5-4. Francisco Rodriguez. Remember he had that 1.93 dental floss thin ERA in the postseason last year? To start the inning, let's lose a wild pitch. Not the guy who became the youngest ever to win a World Series game. Runners move up to second and third. Later in the at-bat, K-Rod has two strikes in Hernandez. He got him swinging the ball, got away from Molina. And next batter, Chris Singleton getting his blue on in front of Salmon. Rodriguez, one inning, three earned runs, two walks, two wild pitches. Ball game, A's win. Seattle, Texas, and I hope you remember to send out those 30th anniversary of the DH cards that Hallmark has out this season. Edgar Martinez, the consummate DH in the game today off Chanho Park. His second home run of the year, 210th as the designated hitter. The Mariners are up one zip. Bottom of the first now, Freddy Garcia facing Alex Rodriguez. Oh, he plunked him. Mm. That's not good for A-Rod. He also struck out twice, which is bad as well. Both well, hit a guy worth $250 million. No, and then you don't go back and have Park hit Martinez with a pitch. Both benches are going to be worn. Now the same inning. Base is loaded. No one out. Chan, Ho, Plum. And he gets Mike Cameron. Pretty sure he didn't mean to do that one because he forces home a run. Martinez actually would score, but later leave the game with a strained hamstring. He's out three to five days. Mariners up three now to that point. Win it easily 11 2. Blue Jays twins. John, this highlight is way too long for me. I need your help. Okay. Carlos Delgado, a two run homer to center second of the year. Thanks for the breathing, man. Bet. Twins, 101 and 61 at the Hanky Dome the last two years. They're swept at home for only the third time in the last two years. Blue Jays win the game 8 1. Thanks for the big ups, help, mm -hmm. Tigers, White Sox, Detroit, four runs. Five losses so far this season. Alan Trammell, still no victories as the skipper. Bottom eight, Tigers. First and third, Stevie Sparks Dude, facing Paul Kanurka. A little Q job. Carlos Pena looking home, holds the runners, and then, oh, Stevie dropped. Josh Paul will score. 2-2 Two -two tie game. Error on Sparks. Still bottom eight, bases loaded. Miguel Olivo walks on a 3-1 pitch. Megalo Ordonez score. Olivo's first RBI of the year. It's the go-ahead run. Later in the eighth, Megalo Ordonez rips one to left. Put it on the board. Yes, that's off Matt Anderson. No relation. 150th Ordonez career. They win 10-2. An important person in Ken Griffey Jr.'s life right now, a guy whose last name is Krimchek. First name, Doctor. He's the one who popped Jr.'s dislocated shoulder back into place Saturday, the third straight year that Griffey's had a major injury in March or April. Krimchek's also the guy who says that with surgery, Jr.'s season is done. Without it and with rehab, he could be back in six to ten weeks. Jr., of course, takes option B. But if rehab doesn't work, he'll still need surgery and miss the season anyway.
you feel for him more than anything because uh, he was looking so forward before this season and he was in the best shape he's ever been in and, and his spring training was unbelievable and, and what he was doing early on in the season was unbelievable. So more than anything, you feel for him just because, you know, it wins enough enough as far as his injuries go. He realizes that the last three years he's just been decimated by injuries. You know, he doesn't like it, but, you know, he's not going to give up. Reds playing their first game without Junior, facing the Cubs top five. Reds down 4-2. His replacement, Reggie Taylor, in center field. Remember, Junior's replacement, Taylor, my bad, dropped the fly ball off. He shot Choi's bat. Taylor given an error, by the way. Junior won 10 straight gold gloves in the 90s. Bottom five, Kerry Wood. School's Taylor looking. Bottom six, Wood on Taylor again. Another school job. Taylor 0 for 3, 3 Ks. And by the way, Junior has 469 career homers. Bottom eight. When the Bloomfield Gospel Choir says, well, Sean Casey, second homer of the year. He only had six all last year and 425 at bats. Top nine runner in first. Sammy Sosa grounds it to the sixth, four, three double play to end the game. Kerry Wood gave up a four run lead. He said later, quote, to me, it's unacceptable. Reds win the game 5-4. Expos to the Mets, but you know, let's just skip to the night, shall we? Right. Armando Benitez in, pitching with a one run lead. It's 5 4. Vladimir Guerrero, one on, one two count. Guerrero lays off. We got a 2 2. The next pitch, Vlad, get some wood on it. That's fine. Vod up, still 2 2. One more time, Benitez 15 and 15 in career save ops against the Expos. He was perfect. Doesn't bite. We got a full count. Ball four taken. Oh, I smell trouble. Guerrero walks. Two on, one out next batter, Jeff Lever. Oh, and he just sucked all of the air out of Shea State. Is that what trouble smells like? Mm -hmm. Benitez says Lever hit his best pitch, 97 mile an hour fastball. Expo's up 7 5. Two batters later, Ty Wigginton going to bobble the Fernando Tatis grounder. It's all right, we're going to throw home, try to get Brad Wilkins. Uh, Wilkerson runs over Piazza. Ball is loose. Another run scores. Air on Piazza. He's in third. Dogs and cats living together. Expo's beat the Mets 8 5. Giants and Brewers top third. Wayne Franklin facing Rich Aurelia, and Aurelia gets a little righteous. Home run. Solo shot. First of the year. Giants trying to start 6-0 on the road for the first time ever. Bottom six, Giants rolling. Ground ball back up the middle. Oh, my goodness. Did he hold on to that baseball? That's not fair. That's just not fair. John, it's not fair that we're going to take fair. two two different looks. Aurelia flips to Nephi Perez, who barehands it. Brewers fall to 0-6 for the first time ever. Wow. Giants win. Yeah, we get that as well. Yanks under the dome in Tampa. Top first, first batter, Alfonso Soriano, Victor Zambrano. Thank you. Home run. Three for six, multiple hit games in every game for Soriano. And the next batter, let's make it back-to-back. -back. Nick Johnson will take that one. So it's 2 nothing after two batters. Oh, goodness. Two for four for Johnson. Bottom five, Roger Clemens going for victory number 295. Eric Almonte. That is not Derek Jeter quality. Ray Ardonia's safe by a lot, although Almonte did drive in two. Here next batter, Carl Crawford. Almonte, that's much better. Better. Turns to 6-3 double play. Clemens likes that defense. Bottom seven, D-Race trail 8-4. Clemens strikes out Rocco Baldelli, who went down four times on case. Career win number 295 for Clemens. 10-5 is your final. Red Sox and Oreos, top five. Red Sox up 5-1. Bases loaded. Shea Hillebrand has been straight putting it down. Yokes it down the left field line. Three run score. Three for five in the game. Six RBI in the game. Hillebrand's got a big league best 15 RBI already. Sox up 8-1. Top six, same score. We call him Noma. We also say Booyah. Two run shot. Second of the season. Red Sox have scored an American League high 55 runs this year. Top eight, no more. A single shy of the cycle. Flies out to center, but he does get some love. Three for four for the game. Two RBI. He scored four times. And the Red Sox win 12 to two. Marlins down a run. Gerald Williams grounds to third. Vinny Castilla gets it, gets the tag. Ramirez gets out of it with the lead. Remember, Braves coming off a 17-1 drubbing, their worst loss in three years. Bottom three, one on two out. Ramirez on deck. Brad Penny intentionally walks Marcus Giles to get to Ramirez. And Shorty can hang at the plate of his pitching. He said, I didn't have my best stop, but I held him off for six innings. For his hitting, after four foul balls, he got some real wood. 
Not only the first major league hit, but first hit in 50 or so games in pro baseball. 5-3 Braves, top seven. Derek Lee smashes one to deep center, but Andrew Jones, don't hate, congratulate, facilitate. Jones also got wicked at the plate. Three for five, a homer, and four RBI. Braves win big. Pirates, Phillies, retro unis. Stu, give me some sister sledge while I do this, huh? We are Chris Benson and the Pirates looking to rebound from that 16 to 1 loss. Jim Tomei drops the Benson pop up. Benson safe at first. Bad error by Tomei. Three batters late. No, I love it. Bases loaded. One out. Brian Giles bounces to short. Jason Kendall breaking up the double play. Fielder's choice. Benson will score. Pirates lead one zip. Bottom seven still one nothing. Benson strikes out Tomas Perez. He went seven innings allowed. No runs. Six Ks. Bottom eight. Phillies down two nothing. Two on. Two out. Brian Bowring gets Pat Burrow. Mike Williams works a perfect night for the save. Pirates win it by a count of two.